Hello, my friends. Hello. So I am by Goodwill, and I want to show you guys what I found. This is pretty cool. So these right here are two sterling silver forks. And um, so like, I'm happy I found them, but then there's part of it that I'm not happy about. So I'm happy that I found them, it's cool. It's, it's sterling silver, but like I would have liked to have gotten them for 10 cents plus tax. Um, so it should have probably been like 11 cents. Um, instead, they had these in the jewelry um, part and um, what they did is they had $3.99 on them. And um, guys, when you go to thrift stores, one of the ways to really get silver is um, in the silverware section, okay? It's, you know, it's just this. Let me show you, uh, I might be able to show you the mark. So look above my thumbnail. Hopefully you can see like, uh, move, I'm sorry, I moved my thumbnail. If I see where my thumbnail's at, hold on, let me, I'm sorry, let me do my finger, it'll be easier. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so let's see where my finger is. It's like, yeah, I don't know if you're gonna see that. Okay, it's a, they both say it's sterling. So um, the spot, one of the spots to really get a lot of silver and gold is in the silverware section where the knives, uh, spoons and forks are. And I, I think this is not typical, this is not normal. Um, I think Goodwill is pretty on it with the, with the jewelry and even even so that they are on it with the jewelry and like finding um, like I, I guess the, and this is like my area of um, kind of like where I'm at this is like from what I've heard kind of and like kind of like what I picked on basically what I generally think and if you have a correction maybe you work for Goodwill maybe you want to add something please put in the comments so what I believe is they take the the jewelry and they kind of like send it off okay and then they distribute it out to the stores and then they um like they might have a boutique where they might try to send the good stuff now even so that they do you may have seen my other videos like i've gotten tons of silver and god blesses me he blessed me with this but like they may make mistakes um you know like what if someone was like looking at jewelry and they knew what 14k meant on jewelry but they didn't know what 585 meant which means 14k so you know they might make a mistake or something so um, anyways, I guess they don't, um, so anyways, a big thing is like um, the silverware. And this is like an oddity, this is not, or whatever, this is, this is odd, but this is not normal. Generally, um, they don't catch this, so who knows how this, you know, as much, probably. And maybe they do, that I don't know about. But I've found like, this is a way to get lots of silver for um, extremely cheap, okay? So, um, but it looks like they did catch it and they, they only marked them for $3.99. So, um, anyways, this is a cool find. God bless me with this. Um, but from what I understand, like, I guess when it comes into like the back, they don't like to um, take the jewelry from there and put it up front at Goodwill. I guess they like to like send it off and then, um, you know, just uh, maybe go through it, try to pick out, you know, maybe like try to put Stuff in boutiques maybe they sell some stuff online but um yeah if you guys want to like help clear up any of that like what happens like behind the scenes at goodwill if you're allowed to just maybe put in the comments below so anyways let you guys see what i found these are these are pretty good forks um maybe i'll weigh them maybe i'll put that in the description maybe not um <clears throat> I, I didn't have my jeweler's loop on me and i probably should have when i went in here i might have kind of looked for it like kind of but yeah so um it's a good idea to have the jeweler's loop to like look at it but um anyways so that this is it this is them cool find thank you guys for watching god bless god bless me it's a cool uh cool thing um i may be doing another um video on a, uh basically how to get like uh white gold um that as part of in the video about how to get white gold um that people don't know so um, even like maybe even the dealers, I might do a video later. Um, maybe I'll have something coming out. So um, stay tuned. But uh, consider subscribing, please. Please let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you, friends. I love you. God loves you. You're amazing. Thank you for watching. Bye. So friends, I wanted to do a close up. Um, 
of this with the other camera and maybe you'll get to see more um, of like the marks and what it actually looks like. Like this may be a big deal for you guys um, who are actually like into this kind of stuff. Okay, can you see that right there? Sterling. Those you may be like, what do I look for? What do I look for? Um, so, just kind of show you the marks. Hold on. Maybe I should take one out and help the camera focus. So give me a moment here. Yeah, one way to kind of look at this stuff is to kind of like reflect it in the light. Just kind of like do this kind of stuff to it. So there you guys, there you all go. I love you friends. Thanks for letting me uh, show you something. Bye.